If you wanted a commercial backpack vacuum cleaner, but you didn't want to have anything to do with a cord, you needed a battery operated commercial backpack vacuum cleaner that is lightweight, easy to work with, and makes you look thin. Makita DVC 660. Yes, I'm wearing it. It only weighs 12 pounds. 12 pounds. 12 pounds. It's got a runtime like no tomorrow. And it's one of the best backpack vacuums I've even tried on. Now, hook me up and tell me all about it, sir. So, first and foremost, I want to talk about the backpack vac itself. Um, now, backpack vacuums in general have always been corded. There's a very few cordless ones on the market. Let's say you're buying a backpack vacuum. Chances are you have a few applications where you really are wanting to buy one. One is gonna be for stairs, right? Yes. Oh my God, I've gotten these calls yeah. about stairs. There's no plugs to be found on the stairs. stairs. Well, yes. think about it. You're doing stairs. You're vacuuming stairs. Do you want to trip your, your uh, over a cord? Uh, no, not You're, the last time that I checked. Check. I don't. No. So why wouldn't it make sense to go with a cordless vacuum? Right. Now, what we do is we make one of the lightest weight full-size backpack vacs out there. Only 12 pounds. Comfortable. Exactly. Now, I'll take you through a few of the cool features on board. So let, let me take it off so you don't have to show it on me. Okay. But let's easier to work it this way. Okay, so you take on the hose and the wand. Okay. And first of all, quality. Quality. This thing is built like a tank. That is amazing. So light, but at the built, same time. Built like a tank, but weighs like a feather. Um, now, first off, let's, let's dive right in. Okay. So some of the unique features on our backpack vac that makes it so great. First off, a turn swivel hose up top and a turn swivel hose down low. What does that mean? So let's say you're you're using it right well when when the hose is turning and swiveling it's going to go right with you yeah so it feels like it's a part of you right, right. that's one of the big benefits of right. the back, it doesn't back, get back. crushed and kinked and uh, exactly yeah okay makes and, sense and and the fact that it's a wire reinforced hose gives it a lot of durability and it's an anti-static wire reinforced hose no shocks no shocks that's annoying exactly All right now it goes a little deeper we we give you our Makita Ultra Low Pile Floor Tool. Now, what's unique on this? Right, this thing here. Yeah. It's called an Ultra. It's actually a really cool tool. Yeah. I've it, used this on only a couple of different machines for uh, carpets and bare floor. It's an all floor tool. Yeah. Um, now, what's unique is the design of it. It uses two squeegees, and the reason why we use the two squeegees is, yeah. again, on all flooring, it will work. When you're pushing the tool, the front squeegee folds in, and to make sure the back squeegee doesn't allow dust to pass. Right. Now, when you're pulling back, it does the opposite. The back squeegee folds in to let the dust in, and the front squeegee traps it all. So it's all going into the mouth of the vacuum. And that's a wide channel right there. So Real nice cool. and wide channel, and it goes out to the edges, right? Right. So that's really what you want. Right. Now, pile that with the fact that the tool has itself an up and down, as well as a side to side motion. Swivels. It makes it really easy to swivel the floor tool back and forth, left and right, underneath a, a desk, right? You can get right down low. Right. It, it really becomes a part of you, and it's like second nature, and it, it makes it almost very intuitive. Now, you pair that with our I was, you know, I was going to say that you forget for a second that this is supposed to be used in commercial because a lot of these commercials you get these, you know, uh, really thin ones yeah, that plasticky. Yeah. So this actually has a lock on the top, and then a locking height adjust channel. Now right. the reason why height adjust is so important is let's say you're doing those stairs. Right. Wand all the way in. Yeah. You stand below where you're vacuuming, right. and you work your way up. Yes. Right? Beauty. Now, if you didn't have that height adjust wand, it just makes it all that much more cumbersome. Right. Then you also pair in the fact that you have a nice, really thin grip. 
right? right. So no, no matter how petite the user is or how big right. the user is, it fits in your hand very comfortably. And it's almost an ergonomic like feature in the way that it's, it's designed, that it fits in your hand just ever so perfect. It's so light. Aluminum. This is, this is aluminum, isn't it? Aluminum. So light. The whole thing is just really, really light. I don't think this weighs even a pound. No, like it's, it's extremely lightweight. And that's what you want in a backpack vac, is lightweight. Right. Now, let's dive into the vacuum itself. You have a double locking lever, okay, on the dust compartment. So it's not just going to fall off halfway through a vacuum. Yep. It locks, kind of like a suitcase locks, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Um, so it, it, oh, it's, a, it's a double positive lock. It's so a double positive. So you not only you have to twist it up, you're also pulling it back just to make sure the compartment doesn't open on you while you're vacuuming. And this this doesn't come. It's beautiful. This sits here. It doesn't yep. come off, so you don't. A fully sealed channel. Yep. Right. So you have great. Um, performance in making sure that you don't lose any suction. Right. A HEPA filter. Right. And a cloth synthetic bag. Wait, you said a HEPA filter, right? Yeah. So this is a HEPA filter. That's right. Right. Now it's a washable HEPA filter as well. So you can keep using it. Keep using it. Keeps your regular running costs a lot lower. This is like a half an inch thick. So this is a proper HEPA. Yeah, it is. It's 99.97% efficient at 0.3 microns. So it's going to make sure that it keeps those allergens trapped inside the vacuum and not you breathing them in. Easy. And this is a good capacity. Do we know how many liters it's we have? It's a six liter dust capacity. Six so, liters. Yeah. I know canisters this big that are about six liters. Exactly. That's pretty cool. And then the other neat feature is that if you forgot to install a bag, you will not be able to close the bag compartment. Aha. Uh -huh. So this is supposed to take a bag and no, you cannot and should not use it without a bag. Perfect. And there is a particular feature that I'm very curious about if you don't mind me cutting you off no problem there is a lever here yeah and what is that what does that do I mean why do I have this lever here okay so let's say when you're vacuuming and right let's here. say you were doing um, something like uh, uh, popcorn okay right. really light particulate yeah. right but you were picking up a ton of popcorn let's right. say you bought this for a movie theater right fair enough well what ends up happening is a lot of times when you're picking up a, a lightweight particulate the particulate sits up at the top of the bag Correct. right and then you start to lose suction what this lever does is it is is, is it actually is what we call a bag shaker huh. So what it will do is it'll knock the suction back and forth until the larger particle, lightweight particulate falls, falls off. to the bottom. Yeah. It improves suction. It improves the suction. That is very, very small. I don't think I've ever seen that in a backpack before. I may be wrong. Now, oh, there we go. Now, we'll take you around the back because yes. with a backpack, that's really important. Okay. Now, I want to show you the actual harness itself. Right. Now, the, what's unique on this harness is that it's really well constructed. It is. It allows for a lot of actual air to flow between you and the vacuum. If you've ever used a, a backpack vac, you know that they get really hot. Right. Right. Some backpack vacs are just really poorly designed right. because they're almost like a round bin that's strapped to someone's flat back. Right. Right? And so you feel really off balance. This That's is right. designed the way a backpack vac should be. Flat. Flat. It's got padding all over the place. And fully adjustable. No matter if right. you're 6'6 or 3'6, you can adjust this any way you need to fit you. Right. Um, it also has your user control. Tell me more about that. I was curious. There's a couple of buttons there. Yeah. So let's so just pop in batteries. batteries. Oh, batteries. Very important. What kind of power are we talking about? So this is a 36 volt tool. It powers with two 18 volt batteries. Okay. Now this can be purchased as a tool only or as a kit where you get our dual port rapid charger. Right. And Include. two five amp hour batteries to power the vacuum. Right. Which then, so 36 volts, that's great. That's fantastic. I think that's your top of the line power when it comes to any battery operated machine anyways at least so far yeah. technology improves all the time yeah uh, and i've heard stuff about makita i'm not going to just so you know but what happens is runtime comes into question as well and there's a couple of features that you were telling me about with the batteries yeah with 
So the whole premise of our platform is my charge time when the battery is dead should be faster than the working time when the battery is full. Right. That way I'm never experiencing downtime. Right. So that's what, again, in this product, as well as the rest of the Makita line, right. we do. Yeah. So you'll be able to get a full charge, 45 minutes, on our dual port rapid charger. So I'm charging two 5 amp hour 18 volt batteries right. in only 45 minutes. Right. Now the run time yeah. on this vacuum is 116 minutes, almost two hours. That's that, that's uh, almost 120 minutes. That's yeah, almost, almost two, two hours. hours. Almost two hours. And that's on the low side. That's there's, on the low side. There is three suction settings. There on the medium, three, it um, was an hour I saw. Yeah. That's a long run time. Yeah, and I'm gonna show you in just a little bit that even on the low setting, it's more than sufficient to clean 90% of the particulate that you're gonna go up against. Okay. But I cut you off earlier because you were gonna, before we show you how it actually works on the floor, and we got commercial carpets and bare floors, your typical commercial setting, you were gonna tell me about the, the switch, the buttons. Yeah, so what you get is a simple user control that clips in on the waist harness. Right. So you have three settings. You have a low, a medium, and a high. And then a zero button, which turns the vacuum right off. And then the other neat feature is you actually have a little light <laughs> built in on the end of the user control. <laughs> and this is wired into the machine, right. so you're not going to lose the remote. Right. Uh, it's stuck to you. Yeah. Right? Um, and then the other neat feature is on the actual harness, we even put a spot to clip in like your your maintenance facility maintenance keys. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah. you know, when you're, when you're a commercial cleaner, you have a thousand keys, right? And you can pop them right there with you. Now, we think of it. That is very thoughtful. I have to say, we think of it. This so far has been. Not only a beautifully designed vacuum, a very thoughtfully designed vacuum. Yeah. This is pretty cool. So Rod, I'm gonna get you strap on it. Yes. Okay. That's yes, I will. And now tell me, how does it feel? I you know, I my school high school backpack was, was heavier. Heavier than this. Maybe I just had bricks in my backpack to show up cool. <laughs> I don't know. But this Honestly, it feels so are very you right -handed light. Or left -handed? I am right-handed. You're right-handed. So I'll pass this over to you. Okay. To your right. Perfect. Oh, what's this? Uh, we have a clip. Yeah. Now let's say you were d d finish your clean on one floor and you had to, you know, do something else. Well, what do you do with this hose and wand? Well, Normally, wand. people like just le leave it hanging and the walk around, right? Right. Well, with this, that harness. What this harness? That harness. You just boom, clip. Now you're ready to go up and down a step. I can move around. You can move around. You can bend over. I can use both hands. Yeah. That's very thoughtful. Again. Japanese design. Japanese There's design. No, very thoughtful. Yeah. The, we, we like to make everything lighter, faster, and smarter. Okay. Now, I've made it tall enough so I'm not putting any pressure on my back. Yep. Here's the cool control. You know, I feel like this This makes me feel cool. Can we put some dirt on the floor? We're gonna, and see how it works. Okay. So we're going to do a very fine particulate on a commercial carpet. Anyone who's a commercial cleaner knows it's really hard to pick yes. up. And it's a great test of a vacuum. Well, let's do that. And then can we do bare so floors We'll do too? some bare floor as well. Beautiful. Okay. Now. Let's hit it with the low. 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 It starts off by three. It starts off wherever you left it. Oh, that's right. This is the that's lowest. low. Perfect. So you, and you can clip that right on your harness so you don't have to carry it. Boom. Watch me go. Okay, here it is. Let's see how many passes we're taking. One pass. Are you kidding me? One pass. That's all. On the low. Are you kidding me? Like, that was actually really impressive. Wow, okay, wow. Boom. It's, it's just that good. It really is just that good. Now, the other right. thing that's smart on this backpack, right? That's so Let's quiet. say, I know. And, and, and the other thing that's great on this backpack is the way that the exhaust air disperses. Yeah, where does it go? So if you turn around and show the viewers at home, 
So I'm glad you turned around. So we can show the exhaust air in the way that it disperses. Right. So most backpacks, the exhaust air kind of just disperses down or it disperses back into the user. Okay. It's not really thoughtfully designed. In this backpack, the air actually disperses out from the bottom and out away from the user. So you're not getting that warm air breathing on you. Now the other neat thing is, let's say you just did your two hours of clean and you've, right. you've run down the battery, right? right? But you still, you're cleaning a really large facility, right? right? You got fresh batteries in the charger. Right. Are you going to unstrap to change out their batteries? That would be a pain. Right. I would, I would be upset if okay. I had to do now, that. I want you, and you've never done this before, reach back. So what you're telling me is I don't have to take this off to change, to take the batteries out? No. What's really unique is you can just simply reach back behind you, snap out the batteries, oh, and you can pop in fresh ones. Just like that. Lock and load. What? That is... Well, hold on. And you've never done that. And that no. was in one take. Actually... It's really easy. Give oh. me two batteries. <laughs> that is really cool. Yep. Um, I think I'm sold. Great. This is fantastic. We, ha we have stock and we're ready to ship clear across Canada. Free of charge, all Canadian provinces, 30 day full money back satisfaction guarantee. And one most important part, if I did manage to break this, we stand behind our product with a three year warranty. What does that include? Are you gonna be like, no, I don't know, not this, not that, you, you screwed up, whatever? Three years parts and labor on the vacuum, the batteries, and the charger. And if you had any issues with the warranty work, we are a dealer for Makita. Therefore, we will take care of all your warranty work for you. No problems. Even if not us, you have locations across Canada. Clear across the country, factory service centers that are owned by Makita. We're here to stand behind our products. Okay. Thank you Thank very you. much. It was a pleasure doing this with you, sir. Thank you. Can I have my battery back? Thank you. Thank you.